everyone, welcome to home, your 30-day yoga journey. I'm Adrian, and this is Benji, and we're so glad you are here. Today is day one, and this is a practice that invites you to simply recognize. So hop into something comfy, and let's get started. Alrighty, my friends, welcome to your day one practice. Let's begin in a nice, comfortable seat. Come on down to the ground. And right away here in our first official practice of the journey together, feel free to sit up on a couple of blankets or a couple of towels, anything to get the hips up high. This is a really nice place to start, especially if you're not used to being on the ground or if you feel a little tight in the hips or a little achy in the knee joints and or if you feel like your spine um, has a generous curve as you, you come into a seat. So sit up on something if you like. Maybe in time we can start to remove those layers. Maybe not. Maybe you sit up on your cushion um, for the rest of your days. But right away we want to kind of recognize what would feel good in this moment. So we're not trying to conform or confine into the postures. We're using the postures to make discoveries, right? And to support ourselves on the journey. So hopefully by now you've come into a nice comfortable seat of your choice. I'd like to invite you to sit up nice and tall here. And as you're ready, tuck your chin slightly just to bring a little more length to the back of the neck. Recognize where you have placed your hands. And make adjustments here as you wish. So palms down, maybe palms up, perhaps palms gently placed in your lap. Then as you're ready or comfortable, close your eyes. Trust yourself. Trust me. Trust this practice, this journey you are embarking upon. And as much as you can, allow the sound of my voice to guide you here. So I'm always here for you to peek at and use as a visual but trust me trust yourself trust the video close your eyes here and as you're ready begin to recognize your breath this can be very simply noticing the quality of your breath, or maybe you are ready, you are raring to go, and maybe it is right away taking a big, deep breath in, and allowing for a long, slow breath out. So the task today is not to do anything. But to simply recognize. Recognize your willingness to show up for yourself. From a yoga perspective, if you have shown up you are already halfway home. Continue to acknowledge your breath. And 
And when you're ready, on an inhale, lengthen up through the crown of the head, sit up a little taller, breathe in. And on an exhale, slowly draw the palms together. We call this Anjali Mudra, just this prayer-like position, hands kissing together near your heart. You can find a gentle bow of the head here, a little taste, a little flavor of surrender, of reverence. Again, today's task or invitation is to simply recognize where you are, what it feels like to be you today on this beautiful day in which you set out on a 30-day yoga journey. But also begin to train the mind and the body to work together in recognition. So recognizing where you're tight, being willing to recognize where you might be struggling. And again, this one's important, I think, on day one, just acknowledging, recognizing yourself for showing up. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, draw the chin to the chest, bow your head toward your heart. Start to feel a big stretch in the back of the neck here. See if you can notice or recognize if your shoulders have begun to creep up towards your ears. That's a pattern, it's all good. Just drop the shoulders down. Continue to breathe deep here. With your eyes closed, see your body in this shape and allow your breath to grow a little bit stronger, more full, more awareness of breath here. And then see if you can recognize as you deepen the breath how that kind of moves the shape, even if it's just ever so slightly. Now finally, we'll recognize that we are doing this as a big group of people and pets. Wow, Benji just let out a big sigh right when I said that. We are um, so blessed to also have this opportunity to recognize that we're not alone and we're practicing with hundreds, thousands, millions of people all across the globe. This recognition is also important and it's one of the things that Yoga with Adrian community has taught me how important that is. So on that note, as a community, I'll guide us through a cycle of breath, ready? Here we go, take the deepest breath you've taken all day, all month, all year. Inhale in through your nose. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, and exhale out through your mouth. Excellent. Bat your eyelashes open. Begin to lift your head, lift your chin, and allow your fingertips to come to your sides. Oh. Benji, everybody, day one, already chill. <laughs> and with fingertips kissing the earth, I'm gonna invite you to pull the pinkies back just a bit to already start, sorry buddy, <laughs> already start to open up through the chest, through the heart. Then we'll draw the shoulder blades in together as if you were working to kind of pinch a pencil bet between your two shoulder blades. And again, we start to find this lift up through the sternum, this openness, through the chest, the heart. And just notice if you can recognize if that feels difficult, if this makes you feel anything at all. Maybe you are already nice and open in this area. Maybe this has been collapsed for quite some time. And if that's you, I promise you, you're not alone. So start to pay attention. Then when you're ready, start to lift up from the armpit chest as you breathe in. So we feel this lift up through the side body and exhale, draw the shoulder blades together a little more. A slight bend in the elbows. You might even walk your pinkies back a little more. If you're starting to shake here and tremble, you are not alone. We're finding this midline. Maybe some of us 
remembering, recognizing this midline for the first time in a long time. And if you practice regularly and you're not trembling here, then find that depth of breath right away, right? Inhale in. Exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Inhale in. Exhale, right ear over right shoulder. Keep pressing into your pinkies. Inhale in. Exhale, chin to chest. Breathing in. Exhale, left ear over left shoulder. Press into your fingertips. Good. Inhale in. Soften through the skin of the face here. Exhale, chin to chest. One more time. Inhale in. Exhale, right ear over right shoulder. Keep the sternum lifted here. Inhale in. Soften the skin of the forehead. Exhale, chin to chest. Breathe with me here. Big inhale. Exhale, left ear over left shoulder, nice and slow. Press into the fingertips. And inhale in. And exhale, chin to chest. Awesome. Carve a line with the nose, almost like a little kitty cat pressing a ball of yarn. So integrate spine, neck, part of the spine here as you slowly draw a line with your nose forward. And then bring the head over the heart as you lift it, heart over the pelvis. Awesome, here we go. Flip the palms up towards the sky. Big breath, big stretch here, nice and slow. Spread the fingertips wide. Inhale, reach all the way up. Quads, thighs really heavy here as you reach up. Fingertips kiss up and overhead. On the exhale, palms face down. Breathing nice and slow. Fingertips kiss the earth at the end of the breath. Benji's being extra cute here on day one. Nice, nice work, Benji. Inhale, reach for the sky. Lower body's really heavy here. Breathe deep. Stretching through the side body. And then exhale, press it down. Spread the fingertips wide, really stretching through the palms. Fingertips kiss the earth. One more time. Inhale, all the way up. Hug the low ribs in, keep them hugging in as you exhale, slowly floating the palms down. Beautiful. Left hand comes to the earth, really pressing all of your knuckles into the earth. Maintain that as you flip the right palm up, reach all the way up towards the sky as you breathe in. Feel that stretch in the right side body, nice and long. Big breath, big stretch. And then exhale, bend your left elbow, find a long, beautiful line from your right hip all the way up through your right fingertips. Now gently pull your right thumb back, spiral your heart up towards the sky. Think about those low ribs here also hugging in. So finding a little sense of your center, your core here. Breathe in, relax your jaw, soften through the forehead, and exhale to come all the way back through to center. Good, take the shoulders up towards the ears, breathe in, and lower them down as you breathe out. Great, right home. Right hand mindfully <laughs> pressing into the earth, right? So everything counts here, recognizing that hand to earth connection right away. And then when you're ready, flipping the left palm up, big inhale to reach all the way up towards the ceiling or the sky first. Find that length, big breath, big stretch. And then exhale, soft bend in your right elbow as you take it a little further over, feeling this connection from your left hip. Socket all the way up through your left fingertips. So you can wiggle the left fingertips to activate there. Good, then pull your left thumb back. Spiral your heart up towards the sky. Hug the low ribs in. Feel everything turn on in the midline. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, bring it all the way back and through center. Excellent. We're gonna come forward onto all fours here. Move nice and slow. Move like you love yourself. Even if you're not sure, let's experiment. I'll meet you in a tabletop position. Lots of attention on the hands here. We're gonna use this for the rest of our journey and to the end of time together. So spread the hands wide. There's a tendency to go a little bit narrow here. So bring your hands or your wrists rather underneath your shoulders and then go just a hair wider. Nice, strong base. Knees come directly underneath the hip points. We're gonna press down through the tops of the feet. 
tabletop position. Hug the low ribs up and in. Try to create length from the crown of the head all the way through the tail. So recognize this beautiful line, right? The spine, the spinal column being also your energetic highway. We'll talk more about that as we go on this ride together. So there's a tendency to kind of forget that the neck is an extension of the spine. And while we do want to always honor our natural curvature in the spine, there's a tendency to kind of collapse in the low back. Hey, so send your tailbone out, lengthen your crown forward. Draw your navel up towards the spine, hug the low ribs in. And we're gonna test out this position by curling the toes under, clawing through the fingertips to keep pressure out of the wrists. And we got this, this is all about checking in. Day one, inhale in, soft bend in the elbows. Exhale, let your knees just begin to float up and hover. We're only here for three, breathe deep, two, Recognizing this line of the spine from crown to tail, nice, taut line. And slowly lowering the knees on the one, beautiful. Uncurl the toes, press into the tops of, feet, tops of the feet once again, and here we go. Drop the belly, open the chest, carve a line with your nose, just like we did before, to look forward. Pause here, breathe, take stock. Good, claw through the fingertips, press into the tops of the feet, breathe in again, inhale. And on the exhale, tuck the chin into the chest, rounding through, easing into it today, nice and slow. So many of us, we've done a lot of cat-cows. It's a weird sentence. And so slowing it down to really recognize what all is going on in this shape. What sensations come up? What can I pay attention to that maybe I haven't been before because I've kind of just, for better or worse, been practicing regularly and I might have been caught just like going through the motions. Good. Lifting your heart space up a little more, claw through the fingertips. And here we go. On your next inhale, now we're gonna flow with the breath. Inhale to drop the belly. Open your chest, your heart forward. Exhale, navel draws up and in. Tailbone tucks and lengthens down as you claw through the fingertips, cat pose. Keep it nice and slow here. Inhale, soft bend in the elbows as you drop the belly. Open the chest. Exhale, round through, chin to chest. What can you identify here? One more round, inhale, drop the belly. Try not to rush it, I know it's hard. And exhale with me, here we go. Chin to chest, navel draws up, really hug the low ribs, up, 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 and in. Press into the tops of the feet. Sweet, inhale, tabletop position, nice neutral spine. Let's give your wrists a break by dropping the elbows exactly where the hands are and not allowing them to splay out or to come in. So right underneath the shoulders, you wanna create this nice stacking of the bones, which is a great thing to recognize here on day one because we're gonna keep working in that way throughout the evolution of our practice here together. All right, walk the knees back. Try to keep them in the same line as your elbows. So we have these two parallel lines, these railroad tracks, if you will on the yoga mat, peek at me if you need to, always. You're gonna melt your heart down towards the earth, maybe forehead touches the mat, maybe not. Here's a big heart opener for you, opening up through the shoulders, the chest, the rib cage, breathe deep. See if you can find at least one big wide breath, whatever that means to you, big lateral breath, you got it. Anahata asana, heart to earth pose, a surrender. Get your booty up in the air. Tailbone towards the sky. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, then to come up, we'll inhale in, exhale. On your exhalation, hug the low ribs in so you're moving from center as you come all the way back up to tabletop position. Yay, bump the hips to the left here. Turn your gaze, again, draw a line with your nose. We're always integrating the neck by really moving the nose, right, rather than just working with your eyes. Keep it all integrated by drawing a line with your nose all the way 
towards your right shoulder, bump the hips to the left. Mm -hmm. Slowly uncrumpling from the side, uh, throughout the side body here. Bump the hips to the right and same thing. Think about integrating the neck as you take your nose on a little journey <laughs> towards your left shoulder. If this seems a bit weird to you, trust me, by day 15 you're going to be all about it. Because it feels good to move in a way that is more integrated, right? Rather than let's just focus on our eyes. Okay, back to center, here we go. Our first downward dog all together now. Spread the hands wide. Upper arm bones rotate out. Elbow creases towards the front edge of your mat. Try to find a little connection to your core, your center here, by taking a deep breath in and using that exhale to do just that. Then curl the toes under, and as you're ready, nice and slow, press palms into the earth evenly as you slowly peel the tailbone up towards the sky. And it's all yours. Pedal it out here, claw through the fingertips. Relax your neck. Maybe even shake the head a little yes here, and then no. Pedal it out through the feet and use this asana and all the asanas as an opportunity to notice, discern, recognize what's going on in the body today. What does it feel like in my body today? And you know, day one, this practice is really about accepting, <laughs> recognizing where you're tight, where you're heavy, where it feels hard, where there might be a struggle and being really honest with yourself about that. And then also find in these next couple breaths some yummy moments, recognize some yummy stretches. And if you're like, I'm not finding that here, that's okay. All right, take one more deep breath in. This time as you exhale, bend your knees generously. Carve a line with your nose nice and slow to look forward. And then we're gonna begin to slowly continue to breathe in and out as you take baby steps to the top of your mat. We're gonna meet in a standing forward fold at the top of the mat, feet hip width apart. Allow the weight of your head to really relax over here. And again, opportunity to shake the head a little yes and no. You can bend your knees generously. In fact, a deep bend in the knees here is some you know, extra love for the low back, sometimes quite nice. Recognize the tightness in your hamstrings. Maybe you recognize a little bit of heaviness in your heart. Here in the forward folds, we invite a calmness, a soothing tincture for the nervous system. Take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, press firmly into all four corners of the feet, tuck your chin, and let's slowly begin to come to standing. Mountain pose. So same principles that seemed maybe quite simple when we were in our seated posture apply here. Draw the shoulder blades together. Again, you can imagine pinching a pencil or pen or paintbrush between your shoulder blades here, opening up through the chest, the pecs. Allow your shoulders to snuggle into socket, opening the biceps and the elbow creases towards the front of your mat just a bit here. Lengthen through the crown. Hug the low ribs in. Honor the natural curvature of the spine, but gain a little bit more awareness. Like, can I align head over heart, heart over pelvis? And what does that do to my stance, if anything? Just noticing, seeing if we can recognize any connections here. And if not today, we're just kind of laying the foundation, right? for the long and beautiful journey home. So you don't have to get everything today. Take one more deep breath in here. This time, as you exhale, ground through all four corners of the feet and see if you can work to maybe feel like you're tearing your mat right down the middle. So we start to engage the legs. We'll talk more about this later. Lift up through the pelvic floor. Use your next exhale whenever it is to relax the shoulders. 
And then here we go, moving with the breath. Inhale, spread the fingertips, reach the hands all the way up towards the sky. Palms face together once they're up and overhead. And then we're gonna go full beach ball here on day one. So imagine you're holding a big beach ball, thumbs back, pinkies forward. Hug those low ribs in, keep that strong foundation you built. Here we go, one more breath in, maybe you look up towards the sky. Exhale, palms come together, and we're gonna breathe out as we slowly bend the knees and take it all the way down back to the forward fold. Awesome. On your next inhale, slide it up to a flat back position. So I like to do palms on the tops of the thighs here to start so I can really find integrity from the crown to the tail. But you can already start to work with palms on the shins or even fingertips on the mat, some more traditional kind of Ashtangi version. Continue to breathe here. Pet your puppy dog if you have one near, if not, I'll share mine with you. And whatever variation, whatever, wherever you kind of are on your yoga journey, I'd like to invite you to resist the urge to clinch the back of the neck here and see if you can tuck the chin and you can even see here, rather, how my voice changes. You wanna create length in the back of the neck. So we wanna keep this flow of energy from the crown to the tail nice and clear versus clinching. Okay, take one more deep breath here. We're pulling the hips back, digging into the heels, creating this kind of figure seven shape in the body, and then use your exhale to let that experiment go. Awesome, back up the way we came, here we go. Bend the knees, inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Big beach ball up and overhead. Capture some magic here, recognize you have it within, and then slowly as you breathe out, breathe it. Out, 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 as your hands come back to your heart. Great, big inhale here. Long exhale out here. Great, bend the knees, fingertips are gonna go down to come up. Inhale, spread the fingertips wide, reach for the sky. Exhale, palms kiss overhead, and we take it down, slicing it down through the midline as you breathe out. Good, inhale, halfway lift on the inhale, your version. Exhale, forward fold, gently bow. Good, this time fingertips come to the mat and we're gonna slowly slide the right toes all the way back and then lower the right knee to the earth. Nice low lunge. Pause here, breathe. Notice, recognize the sensation in your hips. Try to get that front knee over the front ankle here. And if you need to, you can walk this left leg out just a bit, give yourself a little more space. Inhale, carve a line with the nose to look forward. You should feel an opening in the front of the right hip crease. Open up through the chest. Deep breath in here again, you got this. Exhale, peel the left hip crease back. Flex your left toes towards your face or your third eye here. Slight micro bend in that left knee. Great, inhale, carve a line with the nose to look forward. So we're essentially we're finding extension right through the spine, through the neck. And then exhale, bow your head towards your heart. Good, roll through your left foot, come back to that nice low lunge. Keep your right knee on the earth here, or if you're ready, inhale in, exhale, reach your right heel back, lift your right knee up high. Strong low lunge here. Inhale in again, let your heart open forward. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back, plank pose, we got this. Reach the heels back, claw through the fingertips, Benji just did namaste, so cute. Reach the heels back, hug the low ribs in, claw through the fingertips, lift your figurative heart space up. So now the opposite of pinching the pencil, create this doming effect in the upper back body, send your shoulder blades left to right. You're here for three, nice, long, beautiful neck. Two, and on the one, send the hips up high and back, downward facing dog, you did awesome. Take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. Good, deep breath in again. Exhale to bend the knees, carve a line with the nose, look forward. Baby steps to the top of the mat, keep breathing. Feet hip width apart or flush together now in your forward fold. Relax the weight of the head over. And on your next inhale, halfway lift. Here we go, inhale. Exhale, soften and bow, forward fold. Fingertips come to the earth. This time bend the knees and slowly kick or slide the left toes back. Left knee comes to kiss the earth. Pause. Take a second to recognize what's going on. The pace of this practice is going to pick up. Use these 
kind of foundational days to really set the tone, to find something new, to be really honest and present with whatever is showing up. Front knee over front ankle. Carve a line with the nose to look forward. Inhale. Think of the spine here. Good. Exhale. Navel draws back. Pull the right hip crease back. Flex your right toes towards your face. So this right foot is flexed. Good. Micro bend in that right knee. And here we go. Inhale to look forward. Find extension. Exhale. Bow. Head to heart. So chin to chest. Good. Dig in through your right heel. Roll through the right foot. Coming back to that nice low lunge. Find your breath. Inhale in. Option to exhale. Reach the left heel back. Lift your left knee. Strong, strong low lunge here. Breathe. Open the chest. Let your heart energy radiate forward. And then exhale. Here we go. Strong and nice slow transition here. Plant the palms. Step your right toes back. Plank pose. Wrists are underneath the shoulders. We're pressing into the fingertips to take pressure out of the wrists. I'm working to create this doming effect in the upper back body as I reach my heels back, crown forward. Beautiful. Finding this kind of zipper sensation through the midline. Hug the low ribs in. You're here for five this time. You got it. Four. Gaze straight down. Three. Breathe deep. Two. Welcome that trembling. We're alive. And hips up high and back on the one. Yes. Deep breath in here. Soften the skin of the forehead. Exhale out through the mouth. All right. Listen carefully. Bend your knees generously. Inhale, carve a line with your nose to look forward. Careful not to crunch the back of the neck. As you're ready, as you breathe out, you can take one step, then two step to ragdoll to the top of the mat. You can repeat the baby steps. Or if you're ready to hop or float, you can start to do that. So really making these transitions feel like your own. Make choices that support you in the moment. And the way we're able to discern and and make those choices is by having a strong recognition practice where we're listening, we're responding. From your forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, long, beautiful neck. Exhale to soften and fold. Now root to rise here, lead with the thumbs, bend your knees, ground down through all four corners of the feet as you inhale, rise up strong, take up space here, big, Full beach ball up and overhead. And then exhale, palms come together and slide back down to the heart. Soften your gaze here or close your eyes. Inhale, lots of love in here. And exhale, relax your shoulders as you breathe out. Again, just like that, inhale, lots of love in. And Exhale, lots of love out. Inhale to reach for the sky. Exhale, forward fold. This time, wiggle the fingertips. Rain it down. Just find something new. Inhale, lifts you up halfway. And exhale, forward fold. Good. Bend your knees. Plant the palms. This time, step the right foot back. Then the left foot back. Then lower the knees, tabletop position. Inhale in tabletop. Exhale to take your toes and swing them to one side, any side. Slowly come through to a seat. (laughs) Send your legs out in front of you. So you can pull your blanket or towel in here to sit up on. We can bend the knees as generously as our body is telling us to. Benji, you want to add anything? No. So we have this length through the side body here. We have this lift in the chest. Just kind of put it all together here. If you can start to straighten the legs, great, but don't worry. This is an unfolding. We'll we'll take our time with it. Inhale, lead with your thumbs, forward, up, and back. A big beach ball here as you come to sit up nice and tall. And then on an exhale, think up and over as you bring your belly towards your thighs. It doesn't even have to come close. 
just the intention. And here we go in a seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Take your time, flex your toes up towards your face. You can keep it nice and lifted here today, just recognizing how deep you can breathe in this shape. And if you're not able to catch a big deep breath, go ahead and come up out of it a little bit. In time, we can work to create more space and more length and maybe begin to bow the head forward. All right, so I'd like to invite you to close your eyes here and soften anything that you might be clenching. Clenching. There's a little Texan in me, clenching. And know that or Please open your mind to this understanding that it's the acknowledgement, the recognition, the awareness that something is tight, something is closed, something is blocked. That recognition is kind of the first step in the process of returning home. Take three more cycles of breath here. And after your three breaths, begin to bat the eyelashes open slowly, tuck the chin into the chest, and rise back up. Excellent, take a second here to just notice how you feel as you stack the spine one last time before we come to the ground. Inhale in. And use your exhale to relax your shoulders down, down, down. Great, use the palms on the earth to come down to your back, yay. When you arrive here, Let's keep the knees bent up towards the sky, soles of the feet on the ground. You'll bring your hands to kiss the earth and we'll snuggle the shoulder blades underneath the chest. All right, one gentle bridge, nice and slow. Press into all four corners of the feet. Walk your heels up towards your hips, towards your sits bones, toes pointing forward. Use the sound of my voice to guide you here, so take your gaze straight up towards the sky or the ceiling and press into your foundation. Start with the tailbone. You're gonna slowly peel the hips up high. Shins reach towards the front edge of your mat as you lift your sits bones to kind of aim towards the backs of your knees here. Don't have to get super high today. (laughs) hey oh. Lift your chest to your chin, chin to the sky. Inhale in and exhale to slowly lower down, awesome. Bum kisses the earth, lands softly. We're gonna bring the feet together now. Let the knees open out wide here. Bring your hands to your belly, take three deep breaths here in reclined cobbler's pose, Sukta Baddha Konasana. Full inhales, feeling the belly rise and slow exhalations, feeling the belly gently soften. Count them out. And taking our time here on day one, nice and slow, taking the fingertips to the outer edges of the legs, bringing the knees together. Press up off the feet, hug your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, make this your own here. You can find soft, easy movement. Now close your eyes here and see if you can recognize the sensation of your yoga mat kind of rising up to meet your spine here. Keep breathing. See if you can Open your mind to this feeling, whatever it means to you, of your yoga mat having your back, 
which it literally does here in this moment. So it's not too crazy, right? Excellent. From here, we'll slowly allow the feet to kiss the earth softly, mindfully extending one leg and then the other. Just take a second here to bring your arms gently to your sides, to tuck the chin ever so slightly, and relax the weight of your body completely into the earth. This practice is great for the physical body. This journey in particular is designed to really nourish the systems of the body. But one of the things that you have the opportunity to bring to it is this willingness to recognize your highest self or this part of you that maybe you might be playing small in. And you might not, but just throwing it out there. Inhale in. On your next exhale, bring the palms together. We're gonna bring the thumbs right up to the forehead and let it rest there. We kind of take a moment at the end of each practice, this small but potent or meaningful moment to recognize our high self. Hey yo our true self, our best self, whatever that means to you. And we also use this part of the ritual to choose to recognize that in one another. This is what namaste means. So as you're ready, let's take a deep breath in, our first one of the journey here together. And a long breath out. Inhaling again. And we whisper, Namaste. Great job, everyone. Thank you for showing up. The awesome in me recognizes the awesome in you. We'll see you tomorrow for day two.